Although the full details have yet to be released by the U.S. Senate's Appropriations Committee, today the full committee voted in favor of markups that significantly cut military construction spending for Guam. According to Congresswoman Madeline Berdallo's spokesman Adam Carbolito, some of the $155 million in cuts are related to the North Ramp Utilities and Finnegadsen Water Utilities, as well as cuts in funding for the incrementally funded Air Force fuel system maintenance hangar. In a statement, Congresswoman Berdallo says she is, quote, concerned and disappointed with the Senate Appropriation Committee's cuts in funding for the Guam military buildup. She also says that it, quote, sends the wrong signal to our Japanese allies and is contradictory to commitments made by Secretary Clinton and Secretary Gates during last week's 2 plus 2 meetings. But she, Senator Guthert, and Governor Eddie Calvo all point out that the bill still must be considered by the full Senate and reconciled with the House's version later this year before any of those cuts are final. Of course, those uh, particular senators are very influential with their colleagues, but this whole matter must go to the conference committee with representatives of the House. And of course, uh, Congressman Berdalio will be at that conference uh, uh, meeting between the House and the Senate representatives. And hopefully, you know, they'll argue it through and uh, things will turn out uh, positive for Guam. And we're hopeful that in reconciliation between the House and the Senate that uh, uh, those appropri appropriations specific to social economic will be kept intact. Senator Guthert also points out that the rationale for these cuts are related to the fiscally conservative climate in Washington, D.C. They have a budget crunch in the states and the Senate wants to make some points with their own constituents and this is one way they can do it. It's just unfortunate that we do not have uh, elected senators in the U.S. Senate. Instead, Guam must rely on the lobbying efforts of its congresswoman who can't vote and its governor. In fact, Governor Calvo will leave to Washington, D.C. later this month to meet with DOD and other federal officials. We are going to be presenting uh, letters and correspondences to both the House uh, Armed Services, the Senate Armed Services, as well pro both appropriations committees of both House and Senate in regards for the need to, to keep uh, within and in intact in those appropriations measures that deal with the social economic uh, uh, impacts to the island of Guam. That's the one